Welcome back to another crochet tutorial with Cozy Rosie Crochet. Today we are learning how to crochet the fillet squares squares. Fillet crochet is something that's well loved throughout the community to showcase negative space pictures. Before we get started, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and of course the notification bell so that you never miss out on another one of my crochet patterns or tutorials again. Let's find out all the materials we need to make our very own fillet square square. So I'm going to be working this fillet square in one colour and I'm using my favourite, the bubblegum pink, which is shade 250 in the paint box yarns Simply Aran. If you're looking to recreate this square for the hodgepodge blanket crochet along, you're going to need to use either an Aran weight or a worsted weight yarn, which is a size 4. I'm also going to be using my corresponding hook size, which is a 5mm hook, a pair of scissors and a darning needle, just because we want to get those ends woven in as quickly as possible. So gather all of those materials and let's get started. This pattern is worked in rows, so we're going to start by making a foundation. And for that chain length, we're going to make it 29 chains. So I've just made my slip knot and I'm placing that onto my crochet hook, ready to start my chain. Remembering to chain, we just yarn over and bring our hook through the loop on our hook. We're going to do that for a total of 29. So make your chain of 29 and I'll meet you back in a moment, ready to continue row one. So once you have your chain of 29, we're going to start by working one US double crochet into the fourth chain from hook. So remembering that this loop on our hook does not count, there's chain number one, two, three, and there's number four that we're going to work into. So we're going to yarn over and insert our hook into that fourth chain, yarn over, bring a loop up, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. Now these skipped chains of three counts as one double crochet. We're going to continue working down our chain, working one double crochet into each of the next five stitches. So we yarn over, insert our hook under the next one to work our second, work our first, so that's one, and into the next one to work another double crochet, two, three, four, and five. We're then going to work a chain one and skip that next chain underneath. We're going to work one double crochet into the next chain and leave that skipped chain unworked. We're going to do that three times all together. So we chain one, skip the next chain, and work one double crochet into the next. So that's two. And for a third time, we chain one, skip the next stitch or chain and work into one double crochet into the next. So as you can see, we've created these spaces which are gonna stay empty. These are our first blocks of fillet, fillet crochet. We're then gonna work one double crochet into the next six chains. So we yarn over, Insert our hook, so that's one, two, three, four, five, and six. We then work a chain one, skip one, and double crochet into the next and we're going to do that three times so that was once so we chain one skip one double crochet into the next for our second time chain one skip one double crochet into the next for our third time we then work one double crochet into the next two chains to finish this row At the end of row one, you've got six chain one spaces and you've got 21 double crochets. Going into row two, we start by making a chain of three and this counts as our first double crochet. And then we work one double crochet into the next two stitches. 
we work one double crochet into the next and another double crochet into the next. You can see that we've reached these chain one spaces and we're replicating this pattern going back. So we start with, we're going to chain one and then skip the chain one space and work one double crochet into the top of the previous double crochet to replicate this pattern. So we're going to do chain one, skip one, double crochet three times. So we chain one, skip that chain one space and work into the top of that last double crochet. So that was one. We do that again, so we chain one, skip the chain one space here and work into the top of this double crochet. So that's two, we do it a third time. So we chain one, skip that chain one space and double crochet into the top of that next stitch. So we've recreated those windows right on top of each other. We're then gonna work one double crochet into each of the next six stitches. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and six. We've reached these chain one spaces again, or these, the windows, if you will. So we're going to work that chain one, skip one, double crochet three times. So we chain one, skip that next chain one space, yarn over and work one double crochet in the top of that double crochet from the previous row. That's once, chain one, skip one, double crochet into the next. That's two, chain one, skip one, double crochet into the next. And that's the third one. We're then going to work one double crochet into each of the next six stitches. And the final one is going to be worked into the top of that chain three from the beginning chain. So that was one, two, three, four, five. And this sixth one, we work into that top of that chain three for that final stitch of this row. And that makes number six. So at the end of row two, you have the same stitch count. So you still have six chain one spaces and 21 double crochets. So for row three, we chain three, which does count as a double crochet. And then we're gonna work one double crochet into each of the next six stitches. Once we've worked that sixth double crochet, we've reached our chain one space and we're gonna replicate this pattern again on top of itself. So we chain one, skip one, double crochet into the next three times. So that's once, skip one, so sorry, chain one, skip one, double crochet for the second time. And then chain one, skip one, double crochet into the next for the third time. Be aware that this is going to change in the next row. We're going to shift where these fillet crochet squares are. So we're then going to work one double crochet into each of the next six stitches. And that brings us back to our chain one, skip one, double crochet in the next three times. So chain one, skip one, double crochet into the next. That's once. Chain one, skip one, double crochet into the top of that next stitch. That's twice. Chain one, skip one, double crochet into the next. And that's the third time. Just gonna work one double crochet into the next two stitches. And obviously we're working to the top of that turning chain from the beginning of the previous row for our final stitch again. So we're looking for the top of that chain three to work our final double crochet. So for row three, our stitch count remains the same. We still have six chain one spaces and 21 double crochets. So going into row four, we start by making a chain of three. And we're then gonna work one double crochet into each of the next two stitches. And then in this row, 
We're going to work into these chain one spaces so we close them up effectively. So we work one double crochet into the chain one, one double crochet into the top of the next stitch. And we repeat that three times. So you work one double crochet into that chain one space, one double crochet into the next double crochet, one double crochet into the chain one space, and then we work one double crochet into the next. So that closes those stitches above these chain one spaces, and then we're going to work that fillet section. So we work a chain one, skip one, double crochet in the next three times. So we chain one, we're skipping that next stitch, working one double crochet into the next, and that was once. So we chain one, skip one, double crochet into the next for the second time. Chain one, skip one, double crochet into the next for the third time. We're then going to work into each chain space and each stitch across. So we yarn over, work one double crochet into the chain space, one double crochet into next, and we do that three times. So that's working into the chain space, another double crochet into the top of the stitch, one double crochet into the chain space, and then one double crochet into the next. We're then going to repeat that fillet crochet section again. So we chain one, skip one, work one double crochet into the next three times. So let's chain one, we're going to skip that next stitch, work one double crochet into the next. We chain one, skip the next one, work one double crochet into the next stitch, chain one, skip one, and then work our final double crochet into the top of that chain three. So as you can see, we've moved where these fillet crochet sections are and they've all been shifted across and we've filled in the spaces above the previous fillet crochet. So we still have the same stitch count. We should have 21 double crochets and we have six chain one spaces. Going into row five, we're going to work a turning chain of four. So one, two, three and four. And those four count as a double crochet and our chain one and we're going to skip the next chain one space and work our next double crochet into the top of that stitch so we yarn over and insert to complete our double crochet into the top of our stitch and that creates a square at that end I'm going to work our chain one skip one double crochet into the next chain one skip one double crochet into the next. We're then going to work one double crochet into each of the next six stitches and then we're working that fillet section again with our chain one, skip one, working into the top of the stitch. So chain one, skip that chain one space, double crochet into the top of the stitch. And we do that three times. And then we're going to work one double crochet into each of the next eight stitches. So that final stitch, uh, the eight stitches worked into the top of that turning chain of three. So at the end of row five, we still have the same stitch count and we've mirrored these fillet, fillet crochet areas above, I can't say that word, have you noticed? The fillet crochet above those previous windows. So going into row six, so we chain three, And then we're going to work one double crochet into each of the next eight stitches. And then we're going to work a, our fillet crochet section. So we chain one, skip one, double crochet three times. We're then going to work one double crochet into each of the next six stitches. Before we repeat that chain one, skip one, double crochet. And this last one, we're going to work our final double crochet into the third chain. So we'll do that together, shall we? So we chain one, skip one, double crochet into the top of that next stitch. Chain one, skip one, 
double crochet into the next. We do our chain one and then we work our final stitch into that third chain to replicate that space at the beginning. So now we have three windows and three windows. So for row seven, we're going to make a chain of three and then we're going to work one double crochet into the next chain space and another one into the top of the next stitch three times. So one into the chain space, one into top of the double crochet three times. So that's into the chain space, into the top of the next stitch. That's two times into the chain space and then a final one into the top of the next stitch. We're then going to work our fillet crochet section. So we chain one, skip one, double crochet into the next three times. So chain one, skip one, double crochet into the next. That's once. Chain one, skip one, double crochet into the next. For the second time, chain one, skip one, double crochet into the next for the third time. And as you can see, we're moving these windows back up again. So from here, we're going to work one double crochet into each of chain space and double crochet along across the next six. We're gonna repeat that three times. So that's one into the chain space, one into the stitch. And we repeat that for a second time and a third time. Then going to work our fillet crochet section so we chain one skip one and double crochet into the next three times so chain one skip one double crochet into the next so that's the second time chain one skip one double crochet into next and then we work one double crochet into each of the next two to finish row seven So at the end of row seven, we've worked the equivalent of row one. So for rows eight to 13, we're gonna repeat row two to seven. Don't forget you can use those timestamps below to find the correct row. And then for rows 14 and 15, we're going to repeat rows two and three again to complete our square. So continue to work all of those repeats all the way up to row 15, and then I will meet you for our edging. So I've completed my 15th row and I've got all my pretty windows there. I will admit this one, they're gonna need a bit of blocking for me, I'm afraid, but I'm ready to move on to my edging. I hope that you are too. We're gonna to start by making a chain of one. And like always, we're gonna start by working down the ends of our rows. And we're gonna to aim to work 24 single crochets evenly down this side. So we know we've got 15 rows. <laughs> So there's not quite every single row end we're gonna work into, but we're just gonna work as evenly as we can to place 24 single crochets. We're gonna try and do that without squishing up our square too much. So work your 24 single crochets and I'll meet you for our corner. So I've worked my 24 single crochets as evenly as possible down there. And I've reached to where my slip knot is ready to work my corner. So into this um, stitch where uh, of the chain where our slip knot is, I'm just going to work our corner, which is one single crochet, a chain one, and another single crochet worked into the same space. And then along the bottom of the square, we're going to work um, into the bottom of each stitch and chain space across. I've got 25 <laughs> after my corner uh, along the edge here, which is fine. We can live with one extra. And for our corner, we're gonna work into the bottom of this chain three that we started off with, or skipped right back at the very beginning. So just insert your hook into the bottom of that chain three and work one single crochet, a chain one, and one single crochet. And then we're ready to work 24 single crochets evenly along our edge here. So work your 24 single crochets and I'll meet you up at the top for our next corner that's the word a corner that's I've got 24 going up this edge here and I've kind of worked into 
the ends of each of the open rows because that helps bring out that straight edge. And then we've got, well, I'm going to put 25 along here as well because we need to work around that last stitch and then into the top of that chain three, we need to work our corner to bring this edge out. So that's a single crochet, a chain one, and another single crochet. And then we're ready to work back along the top of this final row, working one single crochet into each stitch and each chain space along. So complete that and I will meet you for our last corner. So I've just worked into the top of my last stitch and this is where I'm going to finish off my corner. So I'm going to do my chain one and another single crochet into that last stitch before I slip stitch to join to the very first single crochet that we made. I'm going to make a little chain one as a knot and then I'm ready to fasten off. I'll just use my hook to bring that up and out and that completes our fillet crochet square. Now obviously I'm going to go and weave my ends in. I've already been told off that I'm not doing it quick enough. Um, but I hope you've enjoyed learning this technique. I really like it. Um, I think it looks very pretty and I love the way you can create lots of different shapes and letters and well just so many beautiful things using this crochet technique. So I really hope that you've enjoyed learning it with me and of course I would like to give this video a thumbs up if you haven't already and share it with your friends too. I'll be back with you for another crochet tutorial for another granny square as part of the hodgepodge blanket crochet along tomorrow but until then keep it cozy.